Welcome everyone to this weekend Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for June 10th through the 12th, 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so we are in the first quarter phase this weekend. This is about the integration and really challenging ourselves, I feel like, with this uh, new beginning, with this sort of new values that have been shaping up since last weekend, and seeing where we can challenge ourselves, particularly with us doing things because we enjoy it really tapping into our self-expression. And that's going to be the moon in Leo Friday and Saturday, which was the integration or one of the integration points with that new moon. That was the Jupiter squaring up to that new moon in Taurus. So as we continue to learn more about what we value in life, and uh, this is on a material level, but also in relationships with Venus so close to the sun, here challenging ourselves with our self-expression. So what this might look like is, uh, you know, maybe trying some new things, especially with the moon going over the north node uh, this weekend, trying new things in terms of new interests, perhaps new hobbies, maybe new ways of, um, you know, getting creative. Maybe it's with painting or maybe it's in the kitchen. You know, so many things in life can have that expression, that creative spark to them. So whatever that might be for you, and if it is a bit more on the verbal, outward communicative level, expressing herself, sharing herself with others. You know, this is what Leo is all about. It's a very gifting energy in that we share and we give who we are, right? And this can be fun. It can be playful. It's lighthearted. You know, this is all the new energy that we're all learning collectively for the first time in 18 years with the North Node now going back into Leo of collectively learning more about that self-expression how to let that inner spark out for others and for ourselves. So that's going to be the strongest energy, particularly Friday and Saturday, which is that Leo quality. And then on Sunday, the moon will shift into Virgo, which I'll talk more about. But uh, I'm here on Friday, too. Um, we do have the moon squaring up to Mars and Mercury. So I do want to say on Friday, just this you know, early time, just bringing extra attention to the self, to the ego, to the drives, to the mind, okay, because there is that square tent sort of energy. So through the awareness, it'll help balance this out, right? And that'll keep everything nice and uh, even and nice and healthy with those energies. Then as the day unfolds, certainly that Leo quality, right? Entertainment, fun, playfulness, great areas to challenge yourself and take action towards. Now this whole weekend with, uh, with this Mars energy in particular, Mars is sextiling up to Chiron, okay? So there's a healing taking place this weekend and a lot of it has to do with our motivation, our drives, perhaps even our confidence levels get going through some sort of healing. And so a lot of this is reflective because Mars is retrograde in Libra. So what we're reflecting on is how we can be a bit more tactful perhaps in our relationships, maybe a bit more cooperative, having that mutual understanding, you know, all of this Libra sort of quality and what really motivates us about this. You know, it really motivates us in relationships as well. So I think anything involving getting our energy moving, being independent, being direct, yet in this very balanced and cooperative way can be very healing this week. And I think it'll just happen naturally because usually with the trines, it just sort of happens. And what the healing might feel like is probably a bit more ease. In fact, this understanding that through perhaps a bit of this passive approach, of Pisces, the surrendering approach with Chiron and Pisces, that can be very healing in taking action, in getting things done, in asserting ourselves, right? So I think really accessing that presence, that tranquility, maybe some of that R&R &R can be very healing as well. And I think, again, particularly with our motivation, our drives, and perhaps even our energy levels as well. So that's going to be strongest on Sunday, but certainly in orb all weekend. And I think we will feel that on Friday. Then as we go into Saturday, the moon will still be in Leo, that self-expressive quality. Uh, the moon will be opposing up to Neptune, squaring up to Saturn in this T-square. So it will be important on Saturday to remember the fact that Saturn's still squaring up to Neptune. This isn't going to go exact. For, you know, it's still going to be within orb for these next couple weeks. So there's uncertainty about the future. All right, we don't know exactly how things are unfolding. There's a higher process. There's a divine plan at work. But if we get too mentally invested into any specific outcomes or we want to have it figured out, it can be confusing. So it's a great day and I think it's still a great you know, surrounding weeks to work on our spiritual development 
And I mean that in the sense of accessing that presence, accessing that acceptance, and surrendering everything that's not in the immediate present moment in terms of the specific outcomes. Now we can still work towards results. We can still challenge ourselves during this uh, first quarter phase with our self-expression and all this and be patient with those long-term things. But when it comes to understanding, I think it's so important to have that acceptance, which then leads to that tranquility and spiritual development. So that'll be Saturday. And then on Saturday, the moon does can join up to Jupiter and the North Node. So this could be actually a bit of a buoyant day, um, especially with the moon going over Jupiter in Leo. But I think a lot of it's going to be about what we're, le- what we're learning. And this is particularly what we're learning about our self-expression. Again, what is it that we enjoy? What is it that we're passionate about? And I think it's through action because we have to actually get involved in trying new things usually with the North Node to see you know, what it is we actually enjoy and to get that energy moving, that inner spark moving and um, cultivating that. So I think it's a great day for that in particular. Uh, the moon will be trying up to Pluto, so it could be a good day for change, you know, stepping into that power to make some changes, again, maybe to um, express ourselves. Then as we go into Sunday, we start to feel Venus sextiling up to Uranus, so it could be good for mixing things up, changing up that routine, maybe some new things coming in with relationships, maybe from all these new insights, these new values that are changing. Uh, Could be good for trying something new with enjoying life generally, all right? So whether it's with relationships whether it's with the material world, because Venus is in Taurus, of course. So it could be those, uh, you know, different meals, changing up things so that try something that we enjoy, maybe, you know, at home or, you know, um, relaxation related, you know, whatever helps us connect to our senses. And through that openness to try new things, I think it can be an exciting day. And that's certainly um, going for us with that. But the sex dial is a lot of uh, what we make of it. And so it's just showing that there is this opening to maybe try something new that we could find that maybe we enjoy quite a bit. And that's gonna be the same day that Mars does try up to Chiron, so that'll be, I think, a shift with the healing, again, maybe with the confidence and the motivation levels and that sort of thing. Now, this is when we're gonna enter the um, exact third quarter phase, so I think particularly on Sunday, challenging ourselves. And with the moon, the moon's gonna be shifting into Virgo. So challenging ourselves with the self-expression But as we go into this uh, Virgo energy on Sunday, challenging ourselves to maybe take some of this self-expression and actually cultivate it in a self-improved, self-developmental sense. So what I mean by that is Leo shows us, you know, what it is we enjoy, but it's about actually cultivating it, turning it into something real. And this is a good analogy of this is like the painter. In Leo, we get the inspiration to paint, but then in Virgo, we actually get into the actual skill of painting, where we're actually, you know, fine tuning our abilities. So perhaps whatever it is that we find fun and playful and entertaining Friday and Saturday, we can develop further with this craft or this ability to develop it with Virgo on Sunday. And I think that's gonna be a good area to challenge ourselves with. All right, so that's the weekend in a nutshell. If you guys do have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you guys all on Monday.